today I'm camping in the Forks. And it is a little busy out here, but I'm hoping to be able to find a site and stay the night. This is an area that I have not been to before, so I'm relying heavily on the GPS and the map to get me to some potential sites. And after I get my bearings, I get to turn myself around, get headed in the right direction, and start looking around for a good place to stay. That is not the road I'm looking for, so I'm going to continue on. Uh, through the main road here, there's a bunch of offshoots where, according to the GPS, they just kind of end out in the middle of nowhere. And I'm thinking that some of them might end at a good spot to stay. You know, you never know. So I'm kind of checking out a few of the little offshoots. I want to do as much exploring as I can. So I left early, gave myself plenty of time to find a site do some exploring and really get to know the area a little bit better. Um, it took it's about a hundred miles from my house so it took me about two and a half hours almost to get up here and I really want to make sure I get as much experience in the area as I can to see if it's worth coming back. Here's an example of where the road just kind of ends, out in the middle of the woods. Um, I suppose you could camp here if you wanted to. I'm not sure of the rules, but I don't think you're supposed to have fires without a designated fire ring. So I'm kind of tentative to stay in one of these areas and have a fire. Um, and that's most of the reason I go camping is to have a fire. So I'm definitely going to have one. So I'm looking for a, more of a designated site. And then I come across this little road. This is right off the main road, but it kind of is a secluded little spot back here. And there's a fire um, pit of sorts there made of rocks. And I'm thinking I'm going to keep this one in my back pocket. This is a smaller site, good enough for one person. And it's kind of a tempting location, but it's out in the middle of the woods and I kind of want a view. I want some water. So I'm going to keep looking.
and it's not too long before I come across the designated RV parking. This is right across from the pond and seems to be a pretty popular area. I'm not sure the name of these ponds. Uh, they kind of form a chain and together they're called the chain ponds. I don't remember the individual names. What I'm looking for is Cold Stream Pond. And I'm not sure if this is it or not, but that is where the, most of the campsites are on the map. And based on my exploring, it seems to be where most of the campsites are here. So this might be it. I'm really not sure. Um, but it doesn't matter to me which pond I'm stationed at, as long as I have a nice site. This looks like a pretty nice spot, but it is already taken, so I have to turn around and keep looking. I'm starting to get pretty hungry for lunch right now. It's around 11.30, 12 o'clock. And so I do some more exploring and off of one of these chutes I find a little fire pit. And that's gonna be good enough for me for lunch. And then we'll see what happens. actually decide after I've had lunch that I'm not going to spend the night. So I pack everything up, head home. And that's just part of the, what I like about this is the freedom to do what you want, whether or not it's camping or just going for a ride. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.